Welcome back to Ethereal Eons Activation. I'm Leslie Demai, and on this channel, we reveal and bring light to esoteric and metaphysical truths about the reality. I also have tutorials and classes available so that you can do the inner work to remain on your path to spiritual and emotional sovereignty. Please subscribe to support the channel. In today's video, we're going to go over a brief discussion about the importance of being able to quickly come to a place where you are in control of your mind so that it is free from distractions and ultimately it's going to free you from being swayed and influenced to not stick to your fullest potential. What we're going to talk about is a breathing and meditation hack, and it's essential for all of you who practice magic astral travel, meditate, and for those of you who are reality creators and manifest on a regular basis. So this video is actually for anyone, um, and especially for those of you who may have a busy mind that runs a loop. So you can calm your nervous system and calm the thought forms and find a deep sense of becoming present and relaxed at the same time. All right. So the point of this practice is to keep your conscious mind focused on one task at a hand and to keep your breath expansive and at a rhythmic pace. So we're going to build upon this technique one layer at a time. All of the techniques I cover in my videos, it's all about that. We start on one level and then you work your way up gradually. And that's why I say this practice is going to really help exercise your psychic muscles because once you can relax your mind and calm the thoughts and you're able to keep your consciousness focused to one single point, then you're able to go to the next level and begin visualization techniques and begin to have a greater um, kind of grasp over the thought forms and astral realities you're going into. So for our practice, keep in mind, it the goal of it is to remain focused on the breath and finding stillness in the mind as well as physically. So we're so used to always fidgeting, moving, grabbing things. I used to have the habit of having to grab my phone every who knows how often it's like grabbing a cigarette. So these are habits that we learn throughout time, which makes us dependent on always having to, like I said, go for that gratification, reach for it, whether it's like for you, it's for a candy bar or whether it's flipping to a certain sort of, sort of social media app. Um, it's especially difficult for people in this modern age to find stillness in their bodies for extended periods of time without having the need to fidget and move and scratch and open your eyes and right. So this practice is going to help you with that. So this technique is very easy and you can do it seated, lying down. I prefer that you start this practice seated. Um, you can do it seated on a chair, on a couch, just make sure both feet are down and grounded to the floor and make sure your back is straight. All right. So this is a breathing meditation technique and all you have to do is inhale and exhale and track how many times these cycles are going on. So in particular, inhaling for 10 seconds and then exhaling for 10 seconds, 10 times. And the task at hand is for you to count every breath in for a cycle of 10 and count every breath out for a cycle of 10. After you've completed that cycle, you'll kind of just press down on your finger maybe to know where you're at until you've reached 10. 10 times doing this. And so that would be one complete cycle. And if you're able to complete this task without any distractions externally, so that goes for the fidgeting and the having to move and whatever else externally, then you've completed one cycle at that first level. Now, once we do this, and I'll show you how to do it exactly right now, once you've completed that and you're able to do it without moving, then you would make sure that you're able to complete the cycle at hand 10 times without your thoughts swaying, with your thoughts remaining focused on counting one, two, three, four, five, up to 10 and exhaling 10 and doing that 10 times. So I'm going to show you one cycle now, and then I'm going to just kind of um, give you a few pointers, a few tips and what to expect after. So I'm just seated here. I have my palms down. I have my back straight. 
And then I'm going to inhale. I'm just going to show you what it looks like for me by counting with my fingers for me to count to inhale for 10 and exhale for 10. So Ten, inhale, exhale. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that was ten. I then kind of pressed my finger down. That was round one. And I would then go around and do it until I reached ten. Now, on this video, since I'm kind of just explaining it to you, I'm not going to have that timed out for you and do the whole cycle because ultimately you breathe differently than I breathe. And the more relaxed you are, the more able you're, the more you're going to be able to really extend the inhalation and exhalation for a count of 10, because some of you are going to do this and be like, whoa, I cannot go up to 10. I can only go up to five. And so I'm here to tell you that's totally fine. You're going to build upon that practice as well. Again, layer upon layer. So initially, maybe you can only inhale comfortably for a count of five. It's also going to depend on how fast you're counting. So if you're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> That's a little bit too fast of a pace, even with what you are thinking in your mind. So you're not really going to be able to relax as much. So keeping a pace like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It is very rhythmic, and that helps to soothe the mind and to create some stability. And then when I exhale, you can do ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five four, three, two, one. And so if that's not working for you at that pace, maybe you only breathe in for seven and exhale for seven. Totally fine. Do that 10 times. Also, you're going to notice how relaxed you're going to get, right? And so the more relaxed you become, again, the longer you're able to inhale and exhale for an extended period of time, and you'll be able to build up to 10. What you might also notice when you're doing this practice is you're going to get this sudden inclination to maybe just um, retain the breath or exhale longer. So for example, you once you get really relaxed, you're going to inhale for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. I might decide to hold my breath at the peak of this inhalation and sustain it. And what you're going to feel is this immense amount of stillness washing over you and relaxation. Once you can get past that whole, I'm holding my breath because it's going to come naturally. You won't necessarily have that thought. It's just going to be a sense of wanting to hold in that last breath you took or hold out that last exhalation. Because when you completely exhale and deflate the lungs, your lungs expand with every inhale. And the bigger you breathe, the more they they expand, correct? So just imagine if your hands always kind of contracted at this level, just your hand or your lung, right? And then you finally open it. All of the energy is going to circulate throughout those crevices that are usually more kind of um, atrophied in or not fully expanded. So that's just something to take into consideration as well. Building upon this practice will increase the, your lungs capability of, in, of really expanding and and uh, and contracting. Also, you can do this practice before you get into a long meditation for you to kind of just settle in, do these, do one set, two set of this breathing technique. Um, and it will allow you to come into the meditation just a lot more presently and without having to really go through all those channels of thoughts coming in initially. Um, also, when you practice this technique, you're able to settle the mind so that you can begin your visualization techniques. Um, visualization techniques are needed in magic. You have to know how to visualize realities, what you're spelling, sigils. You have to know how to see it with your mind's eye. And so this will help you do that. Also, this practice, what you can do is once you've kind of gotten used to doing it and you're able to do it easier, then you would visualize every breath in a certain color and every breath out a certain color. So maybe you're breathing in fresh healing energy and it can be like a golden color. And then you can breathe out maybe a, a gray color as you're exhaling any pent up sediment, like any any sediment on your energy, any blockages, maybe you're releasing toxic thoughts. So you can do it that way. I mean, the list goes on and on, 
Let me know if you try this technique out, how many times it took you to be able to go through the 10 sets um, without disruption and with ease. Be easy on yourself. And um, it's going to depend on the day. It's going to depend. Every day is going to be a little different until you're so adept at it that it just comes naturally to you every time. And this is true energy mastery. This is true emotional sovereignty as well, because when you could control your thoughts, you're controlling your emotions, you're controlling controlling your body's responses, chemical releases. And so then you're really, um, you know, being the true God of your inner universe and all of the external energies that may try to come your way. You're safe from those if you're, you know, first and foremost healthy and sovereign within. So let me know what you think of this practice. Please check out the links in my description. I have classes that I do one-on-one um, live on Zoom. So I have tons of classes there, yoga, meditation, breath work. I also have my sovereignty coaching and check out the link to get a good description on that. Check that out and we can schedule a call and see if we're a good fit. Also, please subscribe and like the video. I will see you very soon. Thank you so much.